Molelli. I am the board chair for New Jersey Public Health Innovation Political Action Committee. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting for Paris. Thank you, Ms. Sweet. As a lifelong resident of New Jersey, a mother of four, a passionate advocate for health and well being, I am deeply committed to protecting and strengthening health freedom for all New Jersey residents. For these reasons and others, I am honored to be here today and I am thankful for all that made this day possible. As a community and as a nation, we are at the brink of what may be the most pivotal moment of our lifetimes. The question is, have we collectively had enough? Are we ready to take a stand for ourselves, our families, and our nation as a whole? Today, I want to address an issue that affects all of us, our health, our fundamental right to choose what is best for our bodies. And currently, we find ourselves trapped in a system driven by profit and power, an authoritarian government and a medical industrial complex that favors sickness over wellness and which continues to inflict top-down mandates and erode our personal and parental freedoms. It is time for us to reclaim our health choices and demand a government that respects our individual health rights. To make this clear, there are no one-size-fits-all approaches to medicine. The science is never settled, and we deserve true informed consent as well as safe and effective health treatments. These are our fundamental health rights. Let me share a brief bit about my personal journey. I began my career in the pharmaceutical industry, witnessing firsthand how politics profit often before our public health. When my own chronic health issues persisted and conventional treatments failed, I turned to alternative methods. This led me to become a holistic health coach where I empower families to understand our body's inflammatory processes, reproductive health, and the importance of good nutrition. I believe that health of our communities can only flourish when the individuality of each person's health need is honored. While there is certainly a place for conventional medicine and life-saving surgeries, our healthcare choices must remain ours. This isn't just my story. I am standing here with a call to action for all of us. We need to educate ourselves and support one another to remain in control of our health and our well-being. Because let us not be fooled, the current administration does not prioritize us. Since 2020, I have, been devoted, my, I have devoted my time to fight here in New Jersey for health freedom. Along with six other concerned uh, parents, I launched the New Jersey Public Health Innovation Political Action Committee. We have been at the forefront of, of key elections here in New Jersey. We also actively engage the New Jersey residents and inform them of legislation and encourage them to take action. Lawmakers in New Jersey have relentlessly been in, have put relentless efforts to undermine our health freedoms. There is currently legislation to push uh, and to implement federally qualified health care centers in our schools, which could create additional hurdles between our children and their health care decisions surrounding future pandemics, their reproductive rights, mental health care, and much, much more. New Jersey legislators also are targeting our health care providers with a bill seeking to silence anyone who addresses the question of the, of the address, uh, dares to question the mainstream media. Sorry, the mainstream narrative. Over and over again, we see bills that aim to give autonomy to minors, furthering the separation between family values and our, and, and, and in my opinion, this is threatening to the safety of our children. On a federal level, there are moves to transfer state and federal authority to the World Health Organization. Oh no. Allowing them to regulate our health systems, particularly in areas like medical surveillance and, and pandemic management. And this concerning list of legislation goes on and on and on. These are the policies, policies keeping, or, sorry, are these policies keeping us healthy? For a moment, please consider these staggering facts. 
the U.S. spends $4.3 trillion each year on health care. Yet, what do, they, what do we have to show for it? I just need a few more minutes, I'll get through it. Thank you. Are our children and our peers healthier as a result? I don't think so. They certainly are not. Today, 74% of our children, your families, have at least one chronic health condition. In the 1970s, one in 10,000 children were diagnosed with autism. Today, that, rock, that number has skyrocketed to one in 34 children who have autism. According to the CDC, one in five adolescents and one in four young children have prediabetes. These statistics are not just numbers. They represent our children and consequently our future. We must con confront the sobering truth that Americans are dying at, the, at younger than the previous generations. Why is this happening? The system is failing us, prioritizing profit over our people. It's time for us to push back against these troubling trends. We must advocate for food systems that truly nourish us, healthcare systems that genuinely heal us, and politics and policies that respect our health sovereignty. Do you know that the fertility rate is plummeting at an alarming rate? Will we even have a generation of informed voters? This is deeply troubling to me because everything I do for my, for everything I'm doing right now is for my children and, the ch and my children's children. But let's be clear and I'll wrap this up. The fight for parental rights and health freedom is not just a personal issue. It is a collective struggle. It is a resistance against an overreaching system that seeks to undermine our rights and dedicate how we live our lives and dictate how we live our lives. The resistance starts here. The resistance starts with you. Your vote matters. You matter. Your children matter. I employ each and every single one of you today. There is a decent crowd, a large crowd of people who came here today. But if every single one of you leaves here right now and text 10 people and tell them we need to do this for our children, for our health, because I don't know if we'll have a generation that, of voters or people that can support the politics and policies that we long for if we don't do that today. So please do that. Thank you. That was good. Strong message. Welcome.